Glory to God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come Praise on, come Lord. on, everybody. Come in, come in. Hallelujah. Come on on. Come on on, everybody. Oh, yes. This is come the day on, the Lord has Hallelujah. Made. And I come will on rejoice on, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, jump on with us come right on. quick. Come on on. Come on, come on, on everybody. Come on, jump in. Praise the Lord, everybody, and everybody, praise the Lord. Come on, jump in, jump in, in, jump in, in, jump in. Come on on, everybody. Hallelujah. We're getting broadcast. It is time. Hallelujah. Ah, yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we reverence you on this day. God, we thank you. Hallelujah. For being so kind and merciful. Hallelujah. Allow us to see a day we've never Ooh, seen before. Hey, Ernestine, how you doing today, sis? Hallelujah. God hallelujah. bless you. Hallelujah. Hey, Mark, how you doing? Mm. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ha, ha, ha. Glory. Hello, hello, hello. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, Auntie Bella, how glory, you doing? Glory, 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 glory. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise Come the Lord. On, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank, we thank God. We thank God for this thank day. God for another Hallelujah. Day. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bless you. Bless you, sis. Hallelujah. My sister-in-law, Ernestine. Yes, yes. Another day. Another day. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We got a lot to celebrate for you guys. Hallelujah. I can't wait till the end of it. Tomorrow is my husband's birthday, y'all. Hallelujah. There's an attitude of prayer about you. Come the on, Bible now. says we should always pray and not faint. Again, that does not mean that you're always saying something. That's right. But it does mean that you're always in an attitude of prayer. Come on. That we are always in a position, in a posture yes. of prayer. That we're always looking toward God. Amen. Amen. We're always looking to God. Amen. Come on, David said, I'm going to look to the hills from which 
cometh my, my help. help. For all of my help, all my comes, help from the comes from the Lord. Oh, this, if, if there ever been Jesus. a time, if there has ever been a time it's not. when we needed to get into an attitude of it's prayer, not. we're in that time right, right now. now. There's a lot going right on. Now, so much going on. So many on. people are, 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 are scrambling and trying to find answers for the dilemma. They're trying to find solutions to the problem. Amen. Jesus, but those Jesus. of us that are in Christ, we have the solution. We have the solution. Somebody solution. tell me his name. Jesus. He is the solution. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Whatever your ill is tonight, whatever the situation is yes, tonight, yes. Jesus is the solution yes, is. to the yes, problem. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me just give God all the praise. Hallelujah. Yes, Amen. Yes, Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. The song said, I know prayer yes, will change we'll things. Thanks to you. Can we do a little bit of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So can we do a little bit of that? Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. Go. Come on, let's do it this way, y'all. Let's do it this way, y'all.
Sometimes things are going to happen. We got to trust God when we don't have no explanation. Yes. Amen. Listen to me tell you something. Just because you can't explain a thing, amen, don't let that intimidate you. Because amen. God is still God even when you don't understand. Amen. I say God is still God yeah. even when you can't explain it. That's amen. Right. He's still right. who he says he amen. is. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. There's a song I'm going to ask Queen. Queen, you're going to do a portion of this song before we go forward. Just a portion of this song. Basically, what we just been talking about, trusting in the Lord. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. The song says, trust in the Lord. Lean not to your own understanding. You got to trust in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, Queen, just take your time. Holy Ghost, I want you to use me, sir, right now. I want you to go out over these airwaves, and I want you to encourage the hearts of those that are listening right now, Lord. We can feel the pressure in the atmosphere, Lord. But, Lord, we know that you're God, and beside you there is no God. And there is nothing too hard for you, Lord. When you speak your word, you will bring it to pass. I love the Lord, he heard my cry, he, every wrong, yeah, yeah,
we loved her and that we are here for her. Because I'm going to tell you when your family gets sick and you feel like you can't do nothing, it's one thing you can do, you can pray. That's right. We just begin to pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you guys something. I'm not my best now. Because I'm going through some stuff myself. But no matter what I'm going through, hallelujah. I know my help comes from the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right now, my God. And I know God is able. Yes, sir.
got to pray for them. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. prayer changes things. Prayer man. changes things. All we got to do is believe and trust Hallelujah. God. I'm going to turn this over to my husband, but Praise sometimes we just got to look at life as sometimes it is. Sometimes we got to do that. You know, we have to give God thanks, hallelujah, for the little simple things. And I thank God for who's in my life. And tell God, God know what I need. And he know who I need. Yeah. And thank I'm God. thankful. Amen. I'm Amen. thankful. Amen. You know, Amen. you just don't know. Hallelujah. But you can pray, pray for my cousin. Yes, right. Her yes. name is Cassandra. Yes. Cassandra Dinkins. Yes. Pray for her, y'all. Pray for her. Keep her in your prayers. Please keep her in your hallelujah. prayers. Keep pray me in your Lord. prayers. Amen. Stay prayerful, everybody. That's the main thing. Hallelujah. Yes, and the church said amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. We give God praise. Amen. For another opportunity. Amen. I want to just say it from the outset that this is the day that the Lord has made. And I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. amen. David amen. said, I will say of the Lord. Amen. amen. It's not enough just to think. All right. We got to say of the Lord. All right. He is good. good. Whether your situation is good right now or not, yeah. that matters. God is still good. No matter what you're going through, no matter how it looks right now in your life, amen. And and everybody going through something that is not exactly just right. Some of us are going through things that are a little bit more difficult than others. But nevertheless, don't ever allow your circumstances to gauge yeah. or to tell you whether or not God is good. Because the truth of the matter is God is good whether we feel like he is or not. Yeah. God is good, not not based on what we're going not through, we feel. not based on what we feel, not based on how our situation right. is right now. Right. Hallelujah! Because I got to tell somebody right now that they won't be this way all the no. time. Right. Hallelujah! Don't you think God saw the situation that you're going through before you went through it? Yes. God saw it. Amen. Hallelujah! Job, Job said, Job said, I'm going to wait. Amen. He says, God knows the way that I take. Know the way I take. Otherwise, was God know what I was going to do before I did? Y'all don't want to yes. talk to me. Yes. Hallelujah! Yes. Yes. If either God know everything or He don't. Yes, now, I believe yes. he knows everything. everything. That means he knows what I'm going to do before knows, I do it. Knows. I don't always know what I'm going to do, right, but right. God knows what knows, I'm going to do. And Job said he knows the way that I knows take. The way I Hallelujah. Take. He says one thing about it, amen, I'm going to wait till my change comes. My change. And I know one thing, that when all this is over, when I do come forward, Jesus. I'm going to come forth as pure it's gold. gold. Hallelujah. The songwriter said, please be patient with patient me because God ain't through with, with me yet. yet. Amen. Anybody in the believe God ain't through yet? Yeah. Come on, you got to believe that. You got to believe that. Man, if you don't believe that, you will go. You, you will literally go crazy if you don't believe that. You must believe down in your spirit that how things are right now yes, is not how it's going to always be. We just got to trust God. Hallelujah. Trust the song said, trust in him, trust him only, him and only. you can depend on him. Tonight, amen. amen. We do thank the Lord. Amen. I'm amen. on the eve of my 57th chapter of life. Amen. All right. All right. And I give God praise for that. Amen. All right. All right. The song said millions didn't make it, but I was one of the ones that right. did. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I just give God praise that, yes, I'm, that I'm entering into year number 57. Amen. All Hallelujah. Right. Amen. Shout out 57. Yeah. Amen. And I thank God for that. Amen. All Hallelujah. Right. They may they may they they, they may, may say more about that after a while. Yeah. But <laughs> but nevertheless, we thank the Lord. Amen. Thank God for all of you that have joined in here tonight. Amen. Thank God for my queen. Amen. She is not Amen. her hundred percent, but she is still my queen. Amen. All right. And I just told her, honey, just, just hang on. Just gonna go on through this little process. Amen. You will be back to your bubbly self in no time. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. I give God praise for those in the house tonight. Amen. Amen. My sister over there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Since you're ready, thank God for me. I want to thank God for my no. God brother. Amen. Amen. The best God brother anybody yes, can ever sir. ask for. Amen. Oh, yes, sir. Amen. Oh, thank God for sir. that. Amen. Amen. I thought there was a time when I thought God brother was trying to mess me up back when I was dating my queen. I, I called him to the side one night and I said, God brother, you know her better than I do. What kind of stuff does she like? I thought brother finna say perfume and you know and uh, you know and diamonds and jewelry and and you know stuff like that. I thought that's what he said to say. He said, but man, if you want to make Andre smile, he's Andre a different kind of woman. He said, if he want to make her smile, go get her some printer paper. Go get her some, some office supplies. <laughs> I said, this man must be crazy. He's going to get me run off. But y'all know what I did. I followed his advice. Yeah, Amen. Right. Hallelujah. And I went, I come in here the next day with a, with a big old box of printing paper. Yeah. And y'all should have saw the smile on this woman's face. Man, I saw that smile on that face. I said, man, if this all is going to take to get a smile, she would never run out of paper again. Yeah, right. But and we, I ain't never and, read that. Read. Yeah, and right. printing cartridges and ink pen. Uh, and, yes, and we got an office supply full of stuff. All and right. I just give God praise. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I say that to say this. 
Amen. Amen. Sometimes it's good to have the right kind of people around you. That's, That's right. right. That's right. People who got people who have your best interest at in heart. Now, when you're going through what you're going through, that's the time when you really got to reassess the people you got around you. When you're going through difficulties, you got to make sure you got the right kind of people around you. Yes. Because you don't need anybody that's going to help drag you further down. No. We need people to get them to come alongside. We talked about the other week about Aaron and her. Amen. How her came along. Amen. Yeah. And, and picked up the arms of Moses while Joshua was down in the valley fighting Amalek. Amen. Now I'm going to do my best to abbreviate this tonight because it's already about 7.12, 12 minutes after 7. So I want to just kind of abbreviate this tonight. And maybe perhaps get you set up for next time. Amen. We do know that we're kind of somewhat in semi-birthday mode tonight. All right. So All right. excuse me if I get beside myself tonight. Amen. Jeez. But in the it, but but if you'll join me in the word of the Lord tonight, I'm going to the 14th chapter of St. John one more time just to kind of reiterate and to kind of rehash some of this to kind of re uh, rehearse it in your hearing. Amen. John chapter 14. Praise the Lord. John chapter 14. Jesus said in verse 15, he says, if you love me, keep my commandments. All right. And I will pray to Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost is not just for everybody. The Holy Ghost is for those who belong to God. Right. Let me say another. I heard a man of God say this way, and I agree with his assessment. He said, salvation is the greatest gift God has for the world. Mm -hmm. But the Holy Ghost is the greatest gift God got for his children. Ooh. Amen. I'm going to say that again. Salvation is God's greatest gift to the world. Uh -huh. But the Holy Ghost Holy is the greatest gift God has for his children, children for the Holy church, Ghost. those that are already right. born again. Right. Hallelujah. There are, well, again, I maintain, I've been teaching this for some time, and I, and I yet maintain to this hour, because I haven't seen anything in the Bible to the, to the contrary, that there are two separate works of the Holy Spirit. There's the Spirit of God in regeneration, and then there's the Spirit of the Lord in infilling. The same Spirit that regenerates you, that causes you to be born again, is also the same Spirit who fills you after you're born again. That's right. In other words, there's a difference between being born of the Spirit That's right. and being full of the Spirit. That's true. And churches, what we need tonight is the infilling of the Holy Ghost. That's right. Churches need to be full of the Holy Ghost. Just because you walk down somebody's altar or somebody's aisle and gave your hand to some preacher or whatever, just because you joined the ranks of somebody's church, I'm not against that. Please understand this. I'm not against you joining churches. But my main, but my main concern tonight is to ask you the question that Paul asked those disciples in the 19th chapter of the book of Acts. We're going to read that shortly. He asked them, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? We must, the greatest need, the greatest need in the church right now is the infilling of the Holy Ghost. All right. All right. I'm going to emphasize that. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, I'm going to pray to Father. And he, shall, he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you. How long? Forever. Even verse 17, John 14, 17. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it sees him not, neither know him. But you know him, or that is, you shall get to know him. Get to know him. Hallelujah. For he dwelleth with you. Jesus said, while I'm here, he has been with you. With you. But afterward, he going to be in you. Come on, say, I got somebody in me. I got, I got somebody, somebody in me. Uh, the Holy Ghost came to take up residence on the inside of you. That means no matter where you go, you're never yeah. alone. Never Hallelujah. Ooh. Hard never song alone. I said, I've seen the light ah. flash. I've heard the thunder roll. I've right. seen sins breakers dashing, trying to conquer my soul. Oh, yeah. But I heard the voice yeah. of my Savior bidding me to still fight on. Yeah. And he promised never Lord. to leave me. No, never alone. Never Amen. Alone. Somebody said never alone. Never alone. Never alone. Come on, say I'm never by myself. Never by myself. Uh, never. I got the comforter on the inside yes, of me. Yes, Hallelujah. Jesus said, yet a little while and the world sees me no more. Jesus, I mean, Jesus, Jesus is getting ready to go to the cross here. He said, that after a little while, you're not going to see me anymore, ah, but you shall see me because, yes, hello, because I live yes, and you Lord. shall live also. Yes. When Jesus said, you're going to see me, he's talking about you're going to see me in the person of the Holy Ghost. Now, what the Holy Ghost does, before before we get into this, uh, again, this, this intro here, what the Holy Ghost really came to do, what he comes to do, he comes to make Jesus more real to us. Yes, yes. Jesus doesn't really become real to you until the Holy Ghost show him to you. You understand, Jesus Jesus was crucified 2,000 years ago. How, how many of you were here 2,000 years ago? 
Okay, no hands going up. All right. We were not physically here. Amen. But what the Holy Ghost does, the Holy Ghost takes what Jesus did way back on Calvary. Come on, honey. And he makes it real to us right, right now in 2021. I'm going to tell you, it is as though we were right there because right. Right. in the mind of God, we were there. I said, in the mind of God, we were there. What God does is, amen, whenever you receive Christ. Now, I received Christ in my life the first time when I was born again on the 18th day of September yes. in the year 1983. Amen. This is when I was born again. Come on, baby. September the 18th, 1983, 38 years ago. This is when I was born again. Yes. Now, what happened was this. When I said, Jesus, come into my when I received Christ, God reckoned me in Christ. That means God catapulted me all the way back through the corridor of time and put me on the cross in his son. Amen. When Jesus hung on the cross, guess who else hung there with him? He did. We did. Come on, say, I did. I, I did. did. Amen. That means that your life is hid in Christ. Oh, my God. Your life is hid in Christ. You, when he died, you died. Listen to me. He did not just die for you. He died as you. He died our death. We were put to death in Christ. That means that old man, that old person that oh we God. used to be, yeah. God put that person in Christ and put him on a cross. Jesus had to die because his death, watch this, his blood took care of what I did, yeah. but his death took care of what I was. I want y'all to let that soak in. His blood took care of what I did. Come on, what can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood. Okay, so his blood took care of what we did, the sin. But 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 there was something else had to happen to take care of what we had become. We had become sinners, if you will. We had become. In other words, sin was not just something we had that, that we had done. Sin was something that we had become. We had taken on the identity of sin. Right. I, I got to tell somebody this. Because sometimes people don't understand just how devastating sin is. Sin, sin, sin is wrecking homes even tonight. Ooh. Sin has devastating effects. And long as our long as our view of sin is light, we mm. can never really get to what uh, get what God has for us. We got to see sin the same way God sees it. Same and sin is devastating. devastating. Sin will wreck any endeavor. Yes, sin, once yes. sin comes in, sin. somebody said it true. They said it right. They say sin will always cost you more always than you want to pay. pay. Sin will always take you farther oh, you than you meant to go. Oh, Sin will always keep you longer always than you want to stay. Longer. Sin is a bad thing. Yeah, yeah. This yes. is why we yeah. must come to Christ yes. so that God can put us in Christ right. because his right. death is the only solution. The blood that he shed is the only solution to our sin. I want to make that clear. Right. And this is, what the Holy Ghost makes, this is what the Holy Ghost reveals to us. He makes it real to you. He makes the death of Christ real to you. Amen. Can nobody come along now and talk me out of what God has done yes. to me. Amen. Because I know what he done to me. How you can't make me doubt it make me because doubt. I know too much about too much it. About now, who, who, who told you about him? The Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I like what Sister Sharon Daniel just said. She says, sin will disfigure you. That's exactly right. The Bible says that Jesus, even because of the effects of a Roman whip, his flesh, his appearance was more marred than any man. In other words, when, <coughs> excuse me, when the Romans got finished, Beating Jesus, he didn't even look human. They beat him so bad till his back looked like a plowed field. They ripped the flesh from his bones. This is what this is a picture of what sin does. Sin take a person and, and make them look like something that you never mm. seen. Oh my God. Have you ever seen somebody then a few years later you see him again and say, Oh my God, what happened to him? That's or what happened to her? Sin. I got one thing. Sin. Because sin. Sin. sin will age you. Yes, sin will sin, yeah. sin will bring you down. Bring it down. Come on, hallelujah. Yeah. This, is, this is what sin does. Sin is devastating. Yes, is. And yeah. sin will wreck a home. Sin will destroy a family. Uh, yes, when sin right. comes in, it will destroy any kind of righteous yeah. endeavor. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, amen, sin is a reproach to any people. Hallelujah. When the righteous rule, the people rejoice. Amen. Mm -hmm. But when the wicked are in charge, the people mourn. Mm -hmm. And the reason why there's a whole lot of mourning in the land today is because sin is on the rampage. Sin. Sin. But the Holy Ghost comes. He comes to transform us. He comes to conform us after That's Christ. Right. He right. comes to reshape us. He comes to remake us. He Ooh. comes to reform Ooh. us. Hallelujah. He comes, amen, to turn us, amen, to make me over again. Come Hallelujah. On, we sing the song, Lord, make me over. Make me over again. That's what the Holy Ghost does. He comes and he remakes make us. Me over 
and he's the only one that can do it. Yeah. And it doesn't matter how long, it doesn't matter how bad you might want this for somebody, Amen. they got to want it for Amen. themselves. Yeah. Amen. We pray for people and we're supposed to do it. Yeah. But only God can open the eyes of people who are blinded by sin. That's right. Because there was a time when we were blinded by sin. There was a time when we were a wretch undone. I'm trying to get to the gospel. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to go this way. Hallelujah. There was a time, amen, when we had, when our way, amen, as the, when our way get dark, yeah, there was a time when all our ways were dark, yeah. amen. Yeah. There yeah. was a time when we didn't see no way. Hallelujah. Sin, sin, sin. That's the problem. That's the one thing we all got in common, but don't nobody want to talk about it. My nobody. Lord, my Lord, my sin. Lord. The Bible says, but I love this in Romans 8, where sin did abound, grace much more abounded. Romans 6, Come on, where I sin know. did abound. Because one time sin in our lives, it abounded. One time again, we all we were all under the bondage. We were all under the ravages of sin. But thank God, through the Holy Ghost, he came and snatched us, as my elders taught me. He snatched us out of the greedy jaws of hell. My Amen. Lord, he Lord. snatched us out of death, though. Amen. I'm so glad he didn't let me die in my Ooh. sin. Yes, Listen to me. If you're not in Christ, the worst thing right, can happen right. to you is to die. Don't you die outside that's of Christ. Right, amen. Right. You better give your life to Jesus Christ. This is why we make the appeal to you every week. Amen. Yeah. Because the greatest miracle that could ever happen is for a person to give their life to Christ. All right. Hallelujah. Jeez. He said, I'm not going to leave you comfortless. Verse 19, yet a little while the world seeth me no more. But you shall see me because I live. You shall live also. Amen. And at that day you shall know. Verse 20, John chapter 14, verse 20. He said, at that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. At that day. Come on, say, this is that day. This is that day. He's talking about today, amen. Today we now know, amen, that Jesus Christ is in the Father, and we also know that we're in him, amen. We are in him. We're in that day That's because right. of the reality of the Holy Ghost, That's because right. of That's the right. person and the presence, amen, of the Holy Ghost. Thank Holy God we know that we're in Christ. And the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Hallelujah. Thank God for our in Christ. Christ in position. Yes, God. Come on, say, I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. Don't let nobody talk you out of who That's you are. Right. Amen. That's Come on. Right. Hallelujah. Don't let anybody tell you anything differently. Yeah. Glory to God. You must learn how to rest in your in Christ in position. Amen. And don't let anybody pull you out of that. That's yeah. right. Somebody That's say right. hallelujah. 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 Thank God for the Holy Ghost. And I'm going to jump over a couple more chapters in John chapter 16. Now, hallelujah. John chapter 16. Glory to God. Ah, let me go down here. Glory to God. Let me see. Verse 4. Verse let me move on down. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 Jesus yes. said, Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, let me go down to verse 7. He said, Again, this is still part of the same conversation that he had in chapter 14. Y'all, I said, it's still part of the same conversation, Facebook family, that began in chapter 14. Amen. He said, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. John. Chapter 16, verse 7. Yes, Nevertheless, yes. I tell you the truth. It is expedient. Somebody say expedient. Expedient. That means it is to your advantage. It is for your good. You be, you're going to be better off because I'm going away. You're going to be better off because I'm going to the Father. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. Jesus, the fact that he went to the Father, listen to me. The fact that Jesus was able to yes. go to the Father is proof, amen, that God accepted the sacrifice at Calvary. Come on, honey. He said it's expedient. He did not go away because if I don't go away, the Come comfort will not come. Amen. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. Yes. And that's exactly what Jesus did. Hallelujah. He left and sent the Holy Ghost. Jesus. I said he left and sent us the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He gone, gone down. Go, there's a lot of things we don't understand yet. Amen. Go down to verse number 12 real quickly. John mm -hmm. 16, 12. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, I have yet many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. You can't, on, you can't understand them I right can't now. Understand I, got right so now. Much, I got so many things I want to show you, uh -huh. but you can't really handle can't them yet. It right and now. sometimes God has to take us through some things. That's because right. once we go through things, the things that we go through opens us up to the possibilities yes. and, and opens us up to the things that God wants to show us. That's Amen. right. That's because right. what basically what God you got to understand is even when the devil is messing with your life, God has a he has a greater purpose. Greater purpose. I want to tell somebody that God has a greater purpose. Even when the enemy is messing with your life, the Bible says even though the enemy may come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against it. That means that even when the devil comes and messes with your life, even when the devil's in the midst of the devil's plot, God still has a plan. You better talk. 
Yes, he said in the midst, in the in the midst, midst of the devil's plot, the devil's plot God, God still has a plan. Still has a plan. Listen yeah. to me now. You got to get a hold of this. Come on now. Hallelujah. You got many things. You don't understand it right now. You got a lot. There's a lot of things I'm going to show you, but you can't bear it right now. Mm -hmm. But when he, the spirit of truth, has come, yes. never refer to the Holy Ghost as an it. He's not an it. He's right. a person. All right. All right. He's a person. Right. Refer to right. him as he. He's, right. God. He's God. And Jesus said when he has come, right. He shall lead you. He going to guide you into all truth. Hallelujah. Then he said, for he shall not speak of himself. Uh -huh. That means the Holy Ghost is going to, everything that we go through, everything that relates to us, he's going to show, as he's going to, he's going to speak on behalf of Christ. Yes. In other words, Jesus said, he's going to take of mine. Just, let us read on. He said, he won't speak for, he won't speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. That's right. Watch this. And he's going to show you things to come. Yeah. The Holy Ghost will show you things to come. A lot of times we don't take the time to wait on him right, like we should. Right, come on, right, y'all. Let's right, be honest. Right, right, Sometimes right. we don't wait on him like we should. That's right, but that's if we right. wait on the Lord, he'll show you what you need to see. Jesus. Now, we may not always like what he shows. Yes. That's right. That's right. He didn't guarantee that you would like anything oh, you no. saw. Come on, but honey. he will show you what you need what to you see. Need to Why? See. Because once you see what you need to see, then you can do what you need to do. Come on, honey. Come on, say, I got to see something. I got, I got to, to see, see something. Then I know what to do. Then, then I, I know, know what to do. Oh, help me, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, oh, Amen. Good. You know, I look back at my own life. Let me give it this. Let me page. Let me tear a page out of my life. Tear it on that. All right. You know, sometimes long as you see the thing the way you want to see it, you really can't deal with it. That's right. right. That's the only right. way, God, brother, you can deal with a thing is that you got to see it like it is. See it like you it. got to see it. You got you can't sugarcoat it. You can't paint over when and sometimes I heard somebody say, well, even when people, when people show you their true them. colors, don't try to repaint them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. It is what it is. It is okay. It is. Now I can deal, now I can govern myself. Mm -hmm. Now that I see what's going on. See, what's going see sometimes, on. boy, this is gonna be a little tough. But sometimes it's hard to see a thing while you're in it. Sometimes oh. you got to get get out of it and right, look back right, at it. Say, right. Lord, that's why the songwriter said, "How I got over my soul, looked back and wondered." How I got over. There's some things that I got out, have come out of. I don't know how I got out of it. Mm. All I can say is, "How I got over." I got my over. soul looks back and wondered. How I got over. It's God. God will bring you through things. Okay. God puts us in things so that he can show us greater things. Mm -hmm. This is what the Holy Ghost does. He says when he comes, he's going to show you things. And we have to learn how to trust what we see. Jesus. We got to trust what he shows us. Jesus said he's going to glorify me now, for he shall receive of mine. He's going to take what I give him, and then he's going to show it to you. Mm -hmm. In other words, he's going to show you how to apply to your daily living. Because, y'all, this is what it's all about. And, and it saddens me that most church people are only after Sunday morning living. They want to go to church on Sunday, get their shout in, mm -hmm. get their dance in, get their little, I call it a religious fix. Mm -hmm. But God wants to do something in your life that's going to affect your daily life. Every day. Because your, right. your life consists of more every than just day. Sunday. Mm -hmm. Come on, say, I don't just have a Sunday life. Just don't have a Sunday life. I, I have an everyday life. I got life. a Monday life. I got yeah. a Tuesday life. Hey, Amen. What about the mother six days? Right, right, right. So God is concerned about our everyday life. living. That's right. That's right. Every day. God wants Every to do day. something in your life that's going to work on Monday, mm -hmm. Tuesday, Wednesday, all the rest of the week. Amen. October, November, December. He wants to do yeah. it. He wants to yeah. do it. Amen. So what the Holy Ghost does, then he's going to show you. He's going to show you what Jesus gives him for you. That's right. Holy Ghost will show you what God has given him for you. That's right. That's God right. has some things in store for you. My Lord. God, let me tell you, let me help somebody again tonight. God has things in store for all of us. And we all have messed up. Ain't oh, a person in this no, room that no, messed up. We all have blew it. We all have went left when we should have went right. We all we all done it. But what I love about it, that God's plan is still intact. I don't care what you've done. Oh, I'm helping somebody here tonight on Facebook. I don't care what you did. God's plan for your life is still intact. Don't let the devil lie to you. Oh, it's all over now. You can forget it. The devil is alive. God's plan is still intact. You can get up, you can dust yourself, you can brush yourself off. I don't care how many times, I don't care how many times you fall. You can get up, you can brush yourself off. That's right. Look at somebody say you can begin again. You can begin yeah. again. Oh, yes, you can. Yeah. That's right. I know it's yeah. hard, I know it's tough. But, you but the Holy Ghost, again. he will turn sorrow yes, he into will. joy. Yes, Come on, say, will. I'm gonna smile again. I'm gonna smile, smile again. again. 
He's going to turn your sorrow into, into joy. joy. Hallelujah. See, these disciples, Jesus knew they was going to be sad mm -hmm. because he's getting ready to leave. He was about to be crucified. He was about to go to a cross. That wasn't a joyful thing. Listen to me. That was not a pleasant thing. Going to a cross, we all got a cross to bear. Come on, and going to a cross is not a pleasant thing. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Jesus cried and he wept before the Father three times and said, Father, if it be possible, Father. let this cup pass from me. But he said, nevertheless, Somebody said, nevertheless. 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 Not my will. Not my will. But yours be done. But yours be done. Now I'm asking you a question. Do you really mean that? Yes. yes. <laughs> do, you do you really mean that? Do we really mean that we want God's will above our will? So this is what we do. We ask God for his will to be done. Hallelujah. And God's will will be done in our lives as we learn how to yield to him. Mm -hmm. Somebody say, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the, Lord. the Lord. All right. Hallelujah. Now. Let me turn this corner and get ready to get ready to close this session. Amen. Amen. God's will, God wants his will to be done in our life. Now, hallelujah. Let me go over here and ask one more scripture, then I'm going to close it down. Acts Amen. chapter 1. Acts chapter 1. Amen. Verse 6. Acts chapter 1, verse 6. Look what he said. Jesus is talking here, and this is this is before the Lord is taken, he is taken up. Amen. Look what he said. Acts chapter 1, verse number 6. He said, glory to God. When they, let, let me back up a little bit before I get there. Yes. The Bible says, until the, go back to verse 2. Yes. Until the day in which, hallelujah, until the day in which Jesus through the Holy Ghost was taken up. <coughs> listen to this. That he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom he had showed himself alive. Somebody said, said, said this, said, this is after he rose from the dead. This is after, after he, he rose, rose from, from the, the dead. dead. Now, y'all understand, those of you that read your Bible, you know that when Jesus rose from the dead, he didn't go immediately to heaven. When he rose from the dead, he stayed on earth for 40 more days. Say 40 days. 40, 40 days. days. What do we say about the number 40? Now, remember, the number 40 is the number of probation. Say, say 40. 40. 40. It's the number, it's the number, number. of probation. probation. What does probation mean? Say probation, probation is a testing period. It's a testing it's a testing period. period. The reason why a, a person, when a person is coming out of prison or whatever, a person is coming out of jail, that, that the system may put it on, put him on probation or put on probation. Probation is a time for a person to prove themselves. Mm -hmm. Amen. They pay, they pay the little probationary fee and to prove themselves to show the system that I can stay out of trouble. Talk to me, y'all. All, all right, all right. Probation means, probation, probation is this is judge and okay, well, I'm going to test you. I'm going to give you an opportunity to clear yourself. Probation is not designed. I'm not talking about what, what, man call, what man call probation and what God probation is two different things. All right. Now. But God's probation period is a period, a period of time for you to prove yourself. yourself. Are you who you say you are? Are you who you say you are? God puts us on probation. Okay, I'm going to give you an opportunity to prove or to let me prove inside of you what I put in you. Jesus. So this is so Jesus stayed on earth for 40 days so that he could instruct, so that he could prepare. It was a time of instruction and it was a time of preparation. That's preparation. Right. Say instruction, instruction. instruction. And, preparation. and preparation. That's the reason for probation. Mm -hmm. Probation is a time of instruction, instruction. and it's a time of preparation. preparation. All right. Okay, so this is what Jesus is doing. Instruction and preparation. And I'm closing now, for real. I got to, I got to get out of this. He showed himself alive by many infallible proof. That means undeniable evidence that this is just, this is really me. This is not just somebody who looked like me. Jesus really rose from the dead, y'all. He showed himself alive, being seen of them 40 days, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Watch it. Here's what I want you to see. And being assembled together with them, verse 4, he commanded them. He didn't suggest to them. He commanded them, do not depart from Jerusalem. In other words, don't just strike out on your own. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah. go out and try to do your no, own thing. No, no. Let me tell you something. We get in trouble when we try to do things our way. Right. When we try to do our own thing. Right. You can't do things your way and live for God at the same time. That's right. So let nobody lie to you. No, no, God, the Bible said there's a way that seems right to me. Seems right. But the end of the end there are the ways of death. Sometimes things that look right to us ain't always right. No, That's no, right. no. We this is why we got to have God in our life. Yeah. Because only God can tell can help us see what's right. Only God. Jeez. Only, only God. He can do it. We tried our way and all our way, all our ways gonna yeah. do is we're gonna fall flat on our face every time. 
Every time I tried things my way, every time I tried to do it the way I wanted to do it, I failed time and time and time again because my way is a difference between my way and God's way. So the question is, whose way do you want, Facebook? That's right. You want your way or you want God's way? God's way. It's your choice. If you want your way, God will let you have it. You can have your way. You can do your thing. But there are consequences to doing things your way. Just like there are also consequences to doing things doing things God's way. I want his will. I want to live my life according to what I see in the word. How about y'all? I said, I want to live according to what I see in the word. That's right. I, amen. I'm, 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 you know, as I said, I'm on the eve. I'm on the eve of my 57th right. birthday. All right. All right. I'll be 57 tomorrow. I think brother already done got there. All right. I'm on the All eve. Right. I'm at the door of 57. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Come on, say I'm too old to be acting crazy. I'm too old to be acting crazy. I don't got to that. I don't got to that point. I see, I, I can't. I can't keep doing things okay. my way and expect. Right. Why come things ain't working like I wanted to work? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it was never meant to work the way you wanted yeah, to work. I want God's, God's way. way, and I'm finding out more and more. Y'all, listen to me. I'm, yeah. this ain't, I'm not talking about religious hype. I'm telling you yeah. what the truth is. Yeah. I'm, I'm learning more and more yeah. that as we do things God's way, God's yeah. there's a sweet result. Yes, it is. <laughs> There's the sweetness that comes out of this. Right. That there's a good result when you do things the way God right. I got, right. Lord, I got to quit here. He said, don't leave, don't depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father. Wait. He said, for you heard of me. He, You heard him back then, John 16. He said, I told you this wait. before. Mm -hmm. John baptized you with water, but you're going to be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days from now. And we know 10 days later, we know what happened. The Holy Ghost fell on the day of Pentecost. And the Bible says in Acts in the eighth verse of the same chapter, Amen. he said, you shall receive you shall power. power. Say power. 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 Now, what's the purpose for the power? power? Power. The purpose for the power of the Holy Ghost is not for you to act like you're better than anybody else. No, no. The purpose for the power of the Holy Ghost is to empower you to live the life that God has called you to live. Amen. We can't do it without him. That's right. You're looking at a fellow right here, y'all. Let me tell you something. There was a time in my life when I smoked marijuana. I did all kinds of stuff. God brought me out of that lifestyle. Amen. I couldn't break. I couldn't break that thing on my on That's myself. Right. I Thank told you. myself, I man, you you I, you would be shocked at the number. I can tell you, time after time, I had them went out with the guys and then got drunk, come home throwing my guts, just throwing up all over the place, leaning over the stool, making God deals. Lord, if you just get me out of this, <laughs> I'm gonna ever do it again. My Lord. On the next Friday, right back out there doing the same Jesus. thing. I've been there, y'all. Been yeah. through that. Yeah. Then, you get a, then the next thing that you're home, you're sick, you, you can't work for days because you're still hungover from that, mm -hmm. that binge you went and did last Friday. And then, you, then you're making God this, Lord, if you just get out of this, right, I right. promise you, I, 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 I. Let me tell you something, God, you, you can't play, let's make a deal with God. Right. That's right. You got to give your life to Facebook family, you got to give your, your life to him. And you got to come with your whole heart. Right. Whole heart. You got to give yourself to Him fully Amen. and completely, Amen. without Amen. reservation. Yeah. Hallelujah, Lord! I'm your Lord. I just give it over to no, you. I it tried it my way, way, and my way don't work. That's way right. don't work. I give it to you, Lord. Give it to you. And when I did that, you know what God did? He took the taste of the substance out of my taste. mouth. From that day to this, never smoked another joint. Hallelujah. Jeez. Never drunk a, never, never had another taste. alcoholic drink. God took it from me. I know. Taste. Took I know. the taste of it. That Jeez. was 38 years ago. I know. 38 years ago, God took the taste, taste. out of my mouth. Taste. Hallelujah. Jeez. Now the strongest thing I drink is coffee. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. I love you. Coffee. Hallelujah. God took it from me. He did. God did what yeah, he said he would do. Yeah. But and, and, and what I love about it, I'm still being conformed. Yeah. We haven't arrived yet. Ain't none of us perfect. Come on, say I ain't perfect yet. Ain't nobody. But I'm on my way. But I'm on my way. See, God will get here through all of this stuff. And you find yourself, you find your whole desires is shifted now. That's right. I only want to do those things that please that pleases right. him. I want to do things, hallelujah. Jeez. And just like I say, I love my wife, and I, God knows I do. When you love somebody, you do what's necessary to share yes, that yeah. love. You, 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 your whole lifestyle, your whole life shifts. Y'all don't want to talk to me tonight, yeah. but that's all right. I don't. It's the, it's the truth in a way. That's all right. When you love God, when you really say you love him, your life begins to shift. And it begins to take on the nature of what of godly things. That's right. Your company begin to change. Mm -hmm. Them fellas I used to run with, all of them, all of them quit coming around me. They, I lost all my friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only for the Lord to help me see that they wasn't friends to start with. Sometimes you got to change your association. That's Good. all right. I said that's all right. 
Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And I see some of them now, amen, some of them look like they're about 90 years old. Because mm. sin has aged them so much. Jesus. You know? And I just love when I, when I happen to see one of them every now and then, I just love on them. Man, it's so good to see you again. But God is good. God is good. Now, I want to give you an opportunity. We, hallelujah. I'm going to ask Pooh to get a hold of this song. There's a, there's a portion of this song that I want him to sing. Praise the Lord. This song said, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore. Worship you know what that Lord. microphone that he had? I forgot to put that battery in. But, bro, you gave him yours. Okay. Sorry, sorry. All right. Hallelujah. Let's go on with this. Hallelujah. I think he did it in the key of A. Mm -hmm. Let me just go over here and do this like this. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody praise say the praise, the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say it again. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Love you more than anything. I think that was your key.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This have no man. Sir. That one should lay down his life That's right. for his friends. The greatest expression of the love of Jesus. God. If you ask the Lord, Lord, how much do you love me? He would do like this. Jesus. That much. That represents Jesus on the cross. His death Jesus. is the ultimate expression of his yes, love. God. Yes, God. You can't top that. You can't top that love. And right now we're going to give you opportunity. Those of My you... Lord. Joining us live as we close, we want to give you an opportunity to give your life Jesus. to Jesus Christ. Again, you've tried it your way. For years, you've done things your own way. That's right. And all your way has gotten you is heartache yes. and heartbreak, dis disappointment, disappointment, disgust, because that's all sin could ever do. Listen to me. I'm not trying to push something off on in, in, anybody tonight. I'm not trying to impose my will on you tonight. I just want you to yield to the Holy Ghost and let him touch your heart. That's all I want you to do. And day by day, God will begin to walk you out of your yes, dilemma. Yes. One day at a time, one step at a time, God will love you out of that situation and love you into a whole W-H-O-L-E, a whole way of living. Jesus. Thank God my life shifted. Your life will shift if you give it to Christ. Lord. Amen. So tonight, with all your heart, I want you to say it after me. I'm going to ask the people in the room, if you don't mind, to pray it after me as well. You don't have to scream. You don't have to holler. All you got to do is say these words loud enough so you can hear them with your own ears. Because you ain't got to convince anybody. All you got to do is give your life to Christ. And if you mean it from your with your whole heart, if you really and truly give it to him, right. he will show himself through you. Yeah. Your life will shift. My Lord. Say this after me. Say, dear God in heaven. Dear, dear God, God in heaven, heaven. I come to you. I come, come to you. In the name of Jesus. In the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. I am sorry. I am sorry for my sin. For my, my sin. And the way that I've lived. And the way that, that I've lived. I realize, I realize that I can't change myself. That I can't change, change myself. myself. So Lord, so Lord, I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. Just as I am. Just as I am. I throw myself. I throw myself. On your mercy. On your Mercy. Lord, you said in your Lord, word, you said in your word, word, those that come to you, those that come to you, you will in no wise cast them away. So here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. I'm coming. I'm coming right now. Right now. And I ask you, Jesus, I ask you, Jesus to, come into my heart. to come into my heart. Cleanse me. Cleanse me. Renew my mind. Renew my mind. Renew my heart. Cleanse me. Renew my heart. Renew my heart. Creating me. Creating me. A clean heart. A clean heart. And renewing me. And renewing me. A right spirit. A right spirit. I believe, I believe that Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ came into this world. Came into this world. I believe he died, he, died. he, died. he was buried, he was buried. He died. on the third day. He, he rose from the dead. Lord, I believe that. Lord, I believe Lord, I believe that. that. And with my mouth, with with my mouth, mouth I want to confess, I want to confess Jesus, Christ Jesus Christ as my Lord. As as my Lord. I, renounce I renounce the works of the devil. The works of the devil. I turn my mind away from evil. I turn my eyes away from this world, away from this world, and I turn toward you, Lord. And I turn toward you, Lord. Fix me, Lord. Fix me, Lord. Change, my Change my life. Change my mind. Make me brand new. Make me brand new. I believe. I believe. Therefore, by faith. Therefore, by faith. I confess. I confess. I confess. I'm washed. I'm, washed. I'm, washed. I'm cleansed. cleansed. I'm sanctified. sanctified. I'm justified. justified. I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. Come on, clap your hands and tell him thank you. Well, somebody asked, well, how do you know? A person truly did that. Mm. You look for the fruit. That's it. Fruit. How do you know a pecan yeah. tree is a pecan tree? And fruit. You look at you look for pecans. How do you know an orange tree is an orange tree? You wait till you see oranges. That's How true. do you know a Jesus tree is a Jesus tree? You look at the fruit. Amen. Jesus said, "By their fruits shall ye know fruit. them." Yeah. And if we really mean what is what I love about God, if we mean business with God. He'll mean business with us. Amen. He'll change you. Amen. He'll change. He'll turn your life around. Yes, he will. I sit here tonight, Facebook family, as a living witness. Amen. On the eve of my 57th birthday, I thank God. Amen. At the tender age of 18. Oh, my Lord. Amen. Just a few months before my 19th birthday, mm -hmm. the Lord got a hold of me. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Again, that September afternoon. Amen. September the 18th, way back in 1983. Mm -hmm. I had graduated high school at 82. Lord. At 83, the Lord Jesus Christ got a hold of my life. Holy and I've been running ever since. Running ever since. Ever since, bro. Ever 38 since. years ago. Mm -hmm. God is good. Yes, he yeah. is. I'm not telling you something that I heard. I'm telling you something that I know. Amen. God has took me through many things. 
And I just give God, he never left me. Never left. I failed him, but he never failed me. Not no, no. Amen. And I want to thank all of you. Amen. I want to thank everybody for their, yeah. amen, for their birthday wishes. I want to thank y'all for your love. And I want to thank y'all for this queen. Let me tell you what this queen is. I think I put amen. it on Facebook. Y'all, this queen always has a way of slipping balloons in there. Yeah. Amen. I, <laughs> I, I was back in the back of the office yeah. the yeah. last <laughs> Last Wednesday, I believe it was. I was in the back of the office, and I'm, I'm closing, but I was in the back of the office. Had no idea. Now, she looked like I ought to know, know her doing stuff like this by now, but she still managed to slip it in on me. I heard that, uh, you know, we got a chime on our door, and the office door opens, it chimes, and I wasn't in the front of the office, I was in the back. So when I come back, I heard the chime, but I was I couldn't come right there because I was in the back doing something. But when I came back to my office, there were two bouquets of birthday balloons birthday floating around on my desk. And I said, whoop, she done did it again. <laughs> did it again. She got me again. She always she gets me like that. She again. done got me again. Got Hallelujah. Again. Amen. Amen. And I just give God praise for yeah. my word. God, I thank God. God put me and her together. Yeah, that's that's right. my mind. There's did. nothing in this world I wouldn't do for he her. Did. And I thank God for his for his goodness and his mercy. I had no idea God had this in mind for me. Praise you know, I, I, I didn't know. Uh, you know, God, when the Bible says in mm. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, he says mm. God is able to do exceeding abundant mm -hmm. above all you can ask or think. Yeah. Uh -huh. When God gave me my wife, that's what he did. She went beyond my expectation. I had no, I didn't have a clue. I didn't know God had this in store for me. But I just give God for the praise that he has, uh, and for the love that he has put in us, amen, for the love, love. that she has for me and the love that I have for her, amen. Love. And I'm just going to go ahead and tell you tonight, Facebook, that if you get tired of seeing the stuff that I post about my wife, mm -hmm. Uh, you feel free to scroll on by. Okay. Right, I, right. And I promise y'all won't get mad. That's at you. right. Y'all won't get mad because I because see when God do something for you, 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 got, do to, something. you, you got to you got to do something. That's you got true. to you got to express that gratitude. Tell it. And say, I want to think. You got to tell somebody. Gotta tell it. And I'm gonna tell everybody how the Lord tell has blessed it. me with my wife. Amen. Tell it. Amen. I tell you, man, God is good, amen. <laughs> I'm my God brother put an emphasis on it tonight, y'all. We got to tell it, amen. Tell it. And I just thank God for my tell wife, it. amen, and, and for the relationship that we have. I just thank God for that. Amen. So, Queen, I love you. I thank I you so you. much, amen. I said it, I said at home, when you see it, how we are in public, that's how we are at home, amen. We, are. we just love one another. Yeah. Amen. Go working, working toward four years. Amen. Oh, you never had an argument. Man. I don't believe that. Well, you can believe what you want to believe. That's true. Right. Mm -hmm. We don't raise our voice at each other. We talk to talk one another. Talk we talk with pleasant tones. Because yeah. whenever you scream, you can scream till you can't hear nothing. Can't hear nothing. The quickest way to get your words not heard is hollering. Right. Right. That's so true. But we have to talk. talk. Somebody say talk. Talk. Uh, you don't talk. You got to talk. Communication is listening. Then you then you respond. You don't just listen for your turn to talk. That's fine. You're listening for understanding. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And you know how she knew I understood what she said? Because she see me acting a certain way. Okay, mm -hmm. he got what I was telling him. Mm -hmm. I see it in his action. Mm -hmm. You know how I know she understood what I said? When I see her doing, okay, Very good. she heard what I said. Very good. And Very that's good. how we do it. That's communication. Very Amen. good. Amen. And I just give God praise. It ain't no secret, y'all. It's about loving and mm -hmm. listening and then, and then preferring one another. This is what the Bible teaches us. Amen. amen. And I thank God for this birthday. I'm looking to live the rest of my life with this woman. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I told her, I jokingly told her if she ever decides she want to leave, pack my stuff too. That's right. I'm coming with, with both. We're going to leave. Both of us will leave. Hallelujah. But I want to get old and die with That's my right. wife in about another 50 years. Amen. Amen. I want to be 100 years old and still chasing her. All right. That's right. <laughs> still That's chasing right. Her. The chase is still on. Amen. Chasing. Amen. A lot of us brothers, we make a mistake. We think the race ends when chasing. we catch the woman. You got to keep running in order to keep what you call it. Okay, Queen, take us. I'm through. I said, right, God bless y'all. Thank y'all so much. We we we, we kind of went over a little bit but tonight. This is birthday time. Amen. But this is his birthday. So this is his special time. So Love y'all so much. We want to thank each and every one of you all for coming in, sharing your time like you yeah. always do. Thank y'all so much. You let us know that you care about us. Cause yes. You don't have to stay on. You don't have to. You know, come on every uh, Monday, but that's you right. do, and that's, that's love. Right. You know, we just thank God for each and every viewer. We that's thank right. God for each and every one of you. I thank God for my family being that's on on tonight. Oh, yeah. I thank right. God for my family being in yes. on here to, 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 was in the in the home on tonight. Family I thank God, tonight. Hallelujah, for coming in and being a part of the New Beginnings uh, broadcast um, tonight. We just thank God for each and every one of you. I, 
I want you to, um, to keep praying. Let's keep praying for one another. You know, prayer does really change things. Change. And I know all of us are going through something, change. but we still have to get hold on. Change. And we can't go on on how we feel. Because if we go on on how we feel, if I would have went in on how I felt tonight, I wouldn't have been sitting here on tonight. Because I wasn't feeling my best. I'm not feeling my best. But it's a pressing and it's a pushing time. Right. We got to press and push on. Yeah. That's what we have to do. And we're going to continue to do that sometimes. Because like I said, to be honest, sometimes you may not feel like it. But you have to press on. This is a pressing moment. And I thank God for each and every one of you all. Right. And I just like to tell my husband, happy birthday to you. Right.